So, good afternoon, dear applicants. My name is Natalia. I'm a specialist of uh, International Student Support and Recru Recruitment Department in People's Friendship University of Russia. It is also known as uh, RUDN University, and I would like uh, to tell you uh, about our university and the process of uh, admission. So, as you can see, our university includes 10 institutes, six faculties, and one academy. The campus of Rodin University is situated in the capital of Russia, in Moscow. According to the QS World University rankings, Rodin University takes uh, num number 326. Uh, the World University ranking green metrics assess Rodin University campus as the most green in Russia. In our university, uh, there are students from uh, 158 countries from all over the world, and uh, there are more than 31,500 students in our university. And now I would like uh, to tell you about the admission process to our Rodin University. As you can see, there are two variants to apply educational programs. The first way is to send all the necessary documents by our email that you can see on the screen uh, to our department. Uh, to apply, you need to send us the copy of your documents uh, of education and the copy of your passport. So, uh, if you are applying for bachelor degree program, you need to send us the copy of your high, high secondary school certificate and statement of result. And uh, if you are applying for a master degree program, you need to send us a copy of your bachelor degree diploma and uh, a copy of your uh, academic transcript. And the second way to apply our university is to fill the application form on our official website. You can see it uh, on the screen, rudn.ru. On the official site, you so choose to take admissions and then go through online application. Uh, there you will see application form and it will be necessary for you to fill this application form. Uh, there are uh, different uh, programs, uh, about 500 programs uh, of bachelor degree, master degree and PhD programs. And the admission to these programs uh, is open until the 30th of October of this year. Uh, also, uh, you can see uh, that Virginia University uh, has the profiles in the social networks uh, on Facebook or Instagram. And to stay in contact with us, uh, you may scan it and follow our new. And now I would like to give uh, the word to Deputy Director on International Affairs of the Academy of Engineering, Girokina uh, Evgenia. Just a moment, I will share her presentation. So I'm sharing now. Front page, please. Natalia, first page, please. Yes, I change it. Okay. Has it changed? No. It's strange because I can see it's changing. No, I, uh, I see only 11th page. <laughs> so first, then... In just a moment, uh, I will... Uh, Yes, now everything is okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, good afternoon, uh, dear future students, uh, dear all uh, participants. Uh, first of all, uh, we would like to thank you for this opportunity to present the Academy of Engineering and for your uh, participation. Uh, today we have a short presentation about uh, Engineering uh, Academy uh, and our educational uh, programs. Next, please. 
Oh, sorry, the next page. I change it. No. And now? Mm -mm. Strange. Because I change it and I can see it is changing. Oh. No. Probably we could uh, show a third uh, page uh, and uh, I will continue to speak without yeah. the presentation. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's ready. And slide is not changing. Uh, could you please try again? Enable screen sharing. And to share it again? Yes. So okay, I will I I, I will continue uh, to uh, to speak, and we will have only only this page. It's. Uh, it will be okay. Uh, so, um, uh, as you know, uh, Academy of Engineering uh, is a part of uh, Rudin University. Uh, the uh, Academy of Engineering is uh, very large and uh, we have students uh, from uh, more than uh, 100 uh, countries. And uh, we participate uh, in a different uh, international educational uh, program. The Academy of Engineering uh, consists uh, of uh, several uh, departments. Department of uh, Civil Engineering, uh, Department of Architecture, Department of uh, Mechanical and Instrumental Engineering, Department uh, of uh, Mechanics and Mechatronics, Department of Mining and Oil and Gas Engineering, Department of uh, Innovative Management in Industries. Uh, each department uh, has its own educational uh, programs. Department of uh, Civil Engineering uh, consists uh, of uh, bachelor degree programs and master degree programs. Uh, as you know, the period of a uh, bachelor degree program uh, is four years and a master degree program uh, two years. Uh, so, uh, Department of Mechanic and Mechatronics uh, consists uh, also uh, of a bachelor degree program uh, and a master's degree program. And I would like to pay your attention uh, that the uh, head, uh, head of department is uh, Mr. Uh, Yuri Nikolaevich Razumny. Yuri Nikolaevich is uh, also General Director of Engineering Academy. Uh, Department of Innovative Management uh, in Industries uh, consists of a bachelor degree program uh, and a master's degree program. Uh, I need to say uh, that um, innovative management in industries is a very modern direction of study and uh, we have a lot of students of this program. Uh, so, uh, Department of uh, Mining and Oil and Gas uh, Engineering consists of a bachelor degree program master's degree program and a specialist degree program. Uh, specialist degree program, the period of education is five years and it is only one educational program where you could obtain such degree. It is Department of Mining and Oil and Gas Engineering. Uh, Department of Mechanical and Instrumental Engineering consists um, of a bachelor's degree program and master's degree program. And the last Department of Architecture uh, also consists um, of bachelor's degree program and master's degree program. And at this department, a bachelor's degree program uh, takes five years of education. Uh, so, uh, bachelor degree uh, plus a master's degree uh, will take seven years of education. Uh, Academy of Engineering is uh, not only an educational institution, it has also large scientific um, centers. Uh, that means uh, that uh, you could participate in different uh, scientific uh, projects uh, which, be, uh, which could be a, a very good start for your career aspirations. Uh, Academy of Engineering uh, has uh, also uh, many laboratories uh, and uh, centers. Uh, 
sorry. Uh, even, uh, even we have uh, the Institute of Space Technologies. The largest center are Earth Remote Sensing Center and Missile Control Center. The students of Mechanic and Mechatronics uh, Department are actively uh, work and study at the centers. It is also a very good opportunity for students to develop their experience. And uh, I, need, uh, I need to say that uh, every department has its own laboratories actively implemented in educational uh, process. Uh, so, uh, upon graduation, uh, you can continue your education on one of our PhD programs, which are also have uh, in Russian and in English. Uh, the next topic uh, that I would like to uh, discuss um, uh, is that uh, we have a very good experience with international universities. One of successful examples uh, is cooperation with French University EPF. Uh, students of these educational programs uh, get two diplomas in two years. And uh, I would like um, I would like to underline that uh, it is not uh, simple words. Uh, this week uh, we have a real example um, for students uh, of engineering uh, academy goes uh, to uh, French EPF uh, University. First students uh, came uh, last week and uh, three students are waiting for their visas uh, this week. And uh, the program uh, is really very important and interesting for the students uh, because after two years, uh, these students uh, will, will have two diplomas. Uh, uh, one document uh, from Engineering Academy Rodin University and the second uh, diploma, uh, diploma uh, is uh, from European French uh, University. It is uh, very important uh, for every person uh, to my mind. Uh, so, uh, we continue our discussion of uh, international academic uh, mobility. Uh, we have a very active uh, cooperation uh, with different international universities. And uh, we would like to say that uh, if you choose uh, this direction, we will do our best and we will help you to organize your mobility programs. Uh, so, especially, uh, we, uh, we would like to underline uh, academic uh, mobility of students in Turkey. Uh, really, uh, a lot of uh, Rodin students are happy to obtain the education at Middle East Technical University. Uh, so, uh, dear, dear participants, uh, and um, we, we, are all, uh, we are always happy to welcome you at Engineering uh, Academy. You can uh, find us in all kinds of social media. And uh, when you become our uh, students, uh, you will understand that uh, it is not only a good choice, but uh, it will be a right choice in your life. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, if we will have uh, a last uh, slide, you will see my contacts. Thank you very much. So, thank you so much, Virginia Vladimirovna. Uh, and now I would like to introduce my colleague, uh, the representative uh, of the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences, uh, Nikita Sergeyevich. I'm sharing this presentation. I'm sharing your presentation. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, dear friends, dear colleagues. I'm very glad to see you here at this webinar and maybe to welcome you in the future at the Rutherford University's Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences. We are uh, the leading faculty in humanities and social field in Russia. Maybe we are conquering with someone. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But uh, I suppose we can offer you many interesting programs, international relations, political sciences, public administration, and many other specialties. And dear colleagues, please share my presentation. Yes, I shared it. Can you see it? Oh, I can, please. You can't. Share it once again. So I'm trying to do it again. Mm -hmm. And now you see it? Yeah, I see it. Now it's okay. Now it's okay. Uh huh. 
maybe from the second slide, please. Yes. Has it changed? Yeah. Now it's okay. Yeah, thank you. And we'll continue. Okay. Uh, I am Nikita Kuklin. I am assistant at the Department of Theory and History of International Relations at the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences. I am also a graduate of bachelor and master degree programs from my university, my alma mater, Rudan University. And uh, my faculty was founded on 28 June 1996 as a result of the reformation and reorganization of faculty of history and philology. And now you can see we got uh, 15 departments and eight general areas of study, such as philosophy, sociology, history, political sciences, arts and humanities, international studies, foreign regional studies or oriental studies, and public administration. And uh, the head of the faculty, our dean, uh, Vladimir Anatolovich Twig, uh, very famous uh, uh, doctoral philosophy and expert on ethics. Uh, please, next slide. As you can see from the figures at the screen, our faculty is uh, very big, a big number of students, and uh, a big number of them are from Turkey, many of my friends and many of my students now, because I'm teaching now uh, as a young teacher and lecturer. And uh, first of all, uh, the main uh, principle for our faculty is international accreditation of educational programs. It means we got cooperation uh, with many universities abroad, such as uh, fr universities from France, uh, China, Spain and many others. We got a bachelor internship and also a double master degree programs with many of them. And our faculty is famous for its conferences, round tables, and master classes involving famous diplomats, politicians and journalistic community. And for example, Ambassador's Day is one of the major events of our faculty when we're inviting famous diplomats from different parts of the world. Many of them are our graduates and we are meeting our friends and diplomats uh, to be involved in diplomacy and uh, political culture. Uh, please, next slide. The faculty today is a team of great professionals. I really respect all of them, all professors and all my colleagues. Uh, many of them are academicians, or famous Russian academicians, professors, doctors of science and PhD candidates. Uh, it means we have double system in Russia, uh, PhD, Candidat Nauk and also doctor. And uh, more than uh, 300 publications in Scopus Web of Science each year. And uh, also we have seven journals at our faculty, seven journals, Vesnik Rudian, from different series, from international relations to history, sociology, and many others, and all of them are uh, indexed in famous Russian or uh, foreign uh, scientific systems. And we are at the front, uh, forefront of uh, modern solutions for social problems, for political problems, and we are cooperating with foreign ministry, for example, many other public administration uh, institutions uh, to offer first class analytics and high quality education because we are training uh, future specialists and experts in different spheres of uh, social sciences and humanities. Next slide, please. Our international activity is very wide developed. Uh, you can see more than uh, 500 foreign students and graduate students each year. They are going to international scholarships uh, or programs with our partnering universities, more than 40 universities. And you can see universities from the USA, Canada, China, uh, Middle East, uh, Europe and many other parts of the world. Uh, we are really proud of these uh, programs. And also, uh, we are organizing language internships or professional scientific internships for our uh, students and our teaching staff. Please, next slide. And here you can see bachelor degree programs, uh, bachelor degree programs starting from international studies and uh, foreign regional studies uh, divided into three uh, specialists such as Arab East studies, political economics and law, uh, China, Chinese studies or sinology and Russia and neighboring regions studies. 
Now, and also, uh, you can see history, public administration, arts and humanities, sociology, political sciences, and philosophy. Uh, all of these specialties are, are from, their, from different departments of our faculty involving in the same scientific activity and educational activity. We are combining approaches in our education, we are combining theories, for example, in international relations and foreign regional studies. We are combining a Russian-Soviet classical approach to history and also Western political science theories and international relations. And for foreign regional studies, is a combination of our uh, Russian and Soviet classical Oriental studies school and uh, new Western approaches. And it's very good to know a Russian national school, uh, along with uh, its uh, some other theories from abroad. And also uh, sociology, uh, this direction is very uh, important for us because of uh, our own social lab, uh, cooperating with general major institutions from public administration of Russia Federation, uh, for example, State Duma, our parliament, and uh, foreign ministry and many other institutions with their research. And we also got four uh, philosophical departments for many uh, directions in philosophy. And please, next slide. Here you can see arts and humanities, uh, really good experts and specialists in dis interdisciplinary orientations, uh, the workers and uh, uh, scientists working in the museums, uh, theater, culture sphere, culture management, and many other things. During the programs, our students are engaged in many design activities in the field of arts and humanities, projecting many famous exhibitions in Russia, and also protecting our cultural heritage as museum specialists uh, and many others. And we also have uh, cultural heritage research and management with the University of the Balearic Islands, Spain, near its uh, double degree program that you can see. Next slide. Uh, you can see public administration graduates of bachelor degree uh, are known for knowledge and skills in the field of social and public administration. And also, uh, they, they are trained to organize the work of uh, our uh, social process at regional and national level, planning development or city management, for example. It's very important. You can see the directions of our public administration department. Uh, next slide, please. For political science, uh, we are also combining here two major approach, uh, comparative uh, political studies and political studies in general. Yeah, and as a political scientist, they are experts uh, who interpret public policy, mostly internal policy, but also foreign policy. And uh, they are really good specialists. And here you can see many programs with uh, Shandong University in China, Pierre Mendes University in Grenoble, and also Potsdam, Germany. Many other universities are involved in organizing and development programs here at political uh, science departments. Uh, and many of them are bachelor and double master degree programs. Next slide, please. Sociology, yes, they analyze the structure of our social relations, you know that, and they, they are involved in business, culture, media communication, and many other things. And here you can see also the cooperation, strong cooperation with Shandong University. And it's a mixed and master's degree program with Shandong University here. Uh, next department, please. Foreign regional studies. I already mentioned uh, this direction. Foreign regional studies uh, graduates possess a fundamental knowledge of foreign languages, history, geography, complex regional studies of Middle East or China. And uh, also we got uh, Russia and adjacent regions, uh, Russia and post-Soviet space. And it's uh, quite interesting, I suppose, for young professionals to learn more about this region, this area, and these uh, interesting cultures. Next slide, please. 
international studies, I suppose, uh, one of the strongest department uh, in Russia and in Rudian University. Uh, many of our graduates, uh, I'm also a graduate of International Studies Department, uh, they're representatives of n now foreign ministry and many other political institutions of Russian Federation, uh, including uh, our friends ambassadors from different countries, our foreign students, uh, and you can see many of countries are involved here in this uh, activity. And uh, next, please, next slide is for philosophy, the fundamental direction for our faculty also, and uh, uh, a big number of theoretical directions at uh, our four departments of philosophy here. And you will find, uh, I suppose, many of uh, interesting, amazing programs for you uh, to develop your philosophical knowledge of Oriental philosophy, of European philosophy, Chinese philosophy. We got many specialists, uh, Russian specialists and foreign specialists uh, working at the departments of uh, philosophy. And next slide. History at our faculty is divided as a history of mankind, worldwide history and history of Russia. Uh, both programs for bachelor degree and for master degree uh, are uh, really important for our educational structure because uh, here uh, we are applying uh, history of Russia, we are applying strong Soviet and Russian school of history and for mankind studies we are applying combinational multidisciplinary approach of our modern scientific Russian school for worldwide studies including oriental history studies here. And uh, next slide please. Here you can see the list uh, of our profiles of our double degree programs. You can see also our uh, different directions of these master degree programs for our faculty. Uh, foreign regional studies, many of them three directions, international studies programs. Uh, we also have international studies program in English and political science programs with many other universities connected to other universities abroad. And this is quite important. Please, next slide. Yeah, uh, the, next, uh, the next list, yeah, you can see history, sociology, and many other programs. The list and the code. Yeah, you can see special codes of Russian educational ministry here. Uh, yeah, that means your specialty and your uh, future profession. Uh, next slide, please. And also postgraduate study in uh, four areas, sociological studies, political sciences, historical sciences, and also philosophy, ethics, and religion studies, including two major programs in English, history of international relations and uh, political science, Russian and comparative studies. I think for future specialists on Russia, it's quite interesting program, political science, Russian and comparative studies. And uh, next, please. Next slide, please. Uh, it's not me, it's my colleague, Nikolai Yagodkar. He is responsible at the faculty for admission. And you can contact him by this email uh, to enter uh, to our programs. And also contact my colleagues from international department uh, and a department of foreign admission uh, to study at the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences. Thank you very much for your attention and your questions, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nikita. So, dear applicants, uh, now I can see in our chat box uh, any questions, and we are ready to to answer. So, the, the first question is: Is uh, there internship opportunities at oil and gas engineering program for international students? Uh, I think uh, my colleague uh, from Engineering Academy has spoken about it, but uh, also uh, we may clarify this question about all the details uh, for giving you more, more information. And uh, for this, please uh, contact us uh, at the email I have uh, showed you, uh, europe .rudn, europe at and uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Would you like to open your cameras? We cannot see you. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And now, 
Can you can you see me? Yes, that's right. Uh, there are some questions in the questions box on the right side. Um, yes. Uh, so the next question is. Uh, could you tell me, is it possible to get academic preparation courses before starting in master programs uh, which are related with social sciences uh, and English taught? Also, is it possible to get Russian courses as a foreign language in English taught master programs? Uh, yes, uh, we have the one year of uh, Russian language preparation. All the students, uh, if uh, they don't know Russian language uh, first, they apply for the Russian language course and the bachelor or master degree programs, uh, it depends on the level they are applying. And also about the opportunity to study English taught master program. If you want to study Russian language, uh, you may first year yeah, study Russian language uh, for living here in Russia and then to study uh, the English taught master degree program. I can see the question here in Russian. Возможно ли мне как иностранному гражданину подать заявку на данный курс обучения? I will try. Uh, I will try to answer you in English uh, so that uh, all the applicants uh, could understand it. So uh, all the international uh, citizens uh, can apply for any program uh, they are interested in. So here I also uh, see the question about Russian language. Uh, yes, uh, as I've already said, uh, there are other uh, Russian language course. Uh, one year uh, of preparing, uh, you will study uh, Russian language, uh, and then uh, you will apply the program you are interested in. Uh, so the next question I can see: What are the application deadlines for admission? The application deadlines for admission course uh, for the main programs. Uh, it's uh, the 30th of October of this year and if you uh, want to study Russian language uh, we receive uh, the documents for Russian language course all the year. And so in other questions. Uh, how many Turkish, Turkish students you have? Uh, in our university we have about uh, 50 Turkish, Turkish students. Uh, so in another question. Will we be able to attend all the classes in person in this academic year? Some teaching activities will take place online. So now the borders are closed and uh, that is why the studies, uh, all the process of studying is uh, online for all the students who are in their countries. Uh, I don't know exactly, but uh, we hope that the borders uh, will open as soon as possible and when they are open of course uh, you may come here to Russia and uh, study not online but uh, uh, to assist classes. Uh, so the next question, do you have any foreign faculty members? Uh, yes, uh, we have uh, we have the representative of uh, international department of faculties uh, but first uh, if uh, you want to get information about uh, uh, process of entering uh, as an international student, uh, it's necessary to contact our department. Uh, as I showed you this email, uh, it is uh, europe at rudn.ru. And then if it, it will be interesting for you, we will uh, uh, write you the contacts of the person of the faculty you are interested in. Mm, and now I see some questions. Ah, the same question. Do you have any representative in Turkey? Mm, unfortunate. Ah, yes. Uh, my colleagues uh, told me that uh, we have representatives in Turkey. Uh, it uh, uh, like the organization recruitment agency. It calls Sky Education. So. But uh, as I've already said, you may apply directly to our university to uh, send in your uh, send in your documents to our department. Uh, and uh, another variant, as I've already said, it's uh, online application at our website, uh, official website of Rodin University. Uh, and now the questions: uh, How are career opportunities in Russia for international students? Uh, 
after graduation. We have our year opportunities for, for graduation. So I think uh, I think uh, it is uh, possible uh, after graduating uh, to uh, do career here in Russia. But uh, of course, it's uh, necessary to uh, look to look the information uh, while are you studying. Also, you may connect to people. Uh, who now are studying at Rudian University to uh, clarify this information with the students. So the next questions, uh, do you have any dual degree programs with Turkish universities? Mm, as far as I know, we have uh, dual degree programs uh, with Turkish universities and uh, for, my, for more information, please uh, contact uh, our department. Uh, it will be necessary to clarify more information about uh, the agreements with Turkish University uh, and, uh, and uh, also there are uh, the courses, uh, short courses uh, of academic internship. So next question, I can see when we get master degree from university, when we have any work permission, if yes, how many years we have? uh it uh, will be like a uh, visa and uh, with uh, this visa it will be uh, first you are studying with this visa and uh, then with this uh, with this visa if you are finding job uh, you can uh, work uh, with this student visa so dear applicants uh, if you have any questions if you have more questions, we are ready to answer. Natalia, uh, I think you missed the first question. The first questions. And the bottom. Yes, uh, about us. Uh, ah, when we get to mass. But I think uh, I've already answered this question. About the internship. So, as I've already said, uh, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Natalia. The uh, first question about opportunities at oil and gas engineering program. Uh, yes, uh, yes, we have such uh, possibilities uh, at National University of Engineering in Peru. Mm, thank you so much. And do we have more questions? Yes, so I think there are more questions. questions uh, but they are also asking your contact information in the chat box. Uh, is it possible to share? Mm, yes, our contact information. Uh, I'm. I also can uh right here this information but uh, i've already said that uh, our department uh, our uh the mail of our department is uh europe at rudn dot ru it's uh our uh, contact email uh, is it possible to uh, copy the email address in the chat box Mm, yes, uh, but uh, I don't have an opportunity to write. Ah, maybe here I'm alright, so I'm writing. So, did you receive it? Can you hear me? We can. Uh, yeah, okay. And uh, I see another question. Uh, how can I apply to Russian language preparation school? So, for applying a Russian language course, it is necessary to send uh, to the email I have uh, written you the next documents, uh, the copy of your passport, uh, then the copy of your educational documents. Uh, if it depends uh, on the level you are applying, if you apply for bachelor degree program, it is necessary to send us uh, your uh, school documents, high school documents, and uh, the academic transcript. And uh, if you are applying uh, for the master degree programs, 
it is necessary also to send the copy of your passport, uh, the, bachelor, the copy of your bachelor diploma, and the copy of your academic transcript. So these three documents, it's necessary to send us. Uh, we cannot see you again. Uh, mm -hmm. Your camera. And now? Yes, okay, thank you. So I answer any questions. Or so I don't see any questions here in our chat box. Yes. Uh, yes. Right. Oh, well, another question. Is it late to, for apply to bachelor degree program? No, it's not late. Uh, the deadline for applying is uh, the 30th of October, so you may uh, send us your documents for admission board. It's not late. Okay. Well, so you covered all questions. Uh, also, there is one more question in Turkish. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't understand yeah, it. Uh, they're asking about is there any program in the department at the university about marine? Uh, about so what? Sorry. About marine. Не поняла я вас. No, once again, please. Uh, a little bit don't understand about which uh, so just a moment just a moment i had some technical problems i had some technical problems just a moment all right Mm, uh, yes, uh, now can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, but we cannot see you. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, so about the question, is there any section uh, on maritime? Unfortunately, we don't have the similar programs. Unfortunately, don't have. Um, so you there's one more question in the chat box. Can you see? Uh, what about uh, ah, one more question? Uh, what about the aviation? Do you have a program about the aviation engineering? Uh, yes, uh, as far as I know, we have the program related to uh, aviation, but I think uh, my colleague uh, Evgenia Vladimirovna will give you more information about uh, such programs. Евгения Владимировна, can you hear us? Unfortunately, I think uh, she had some technical problems. Hello, hello. No, no, no. I'm, I'm here. I'm sorry. Uh, so uh, we uh, we have some uh, programs uh, on uh, space industry, uh, and uh, we are developing uh, aviation domain now. So, but, uh, but if you, if you if you if you can uh, please uh, contact me uh, by my email uh, and uh, we will try to find uh, more details on your question please thank you thank you so much Evgenia Vladimirovna and uh, uh, I think uh, we don't have uh, questions so dear applicants uh, also as i've already said if you have any question you may contact us you may contact our university and uh, our department uh, so that uh, get more information about uh, the process of uh, application uh, the process of uh, uh, entering the faculty and uh, more detailed information about their faculties uh, so thank you very much it was really uh, webinar session so uh, you answered all the questions. Uh, mm -hmm. There are no questions that will be contacting you, uh, I think. Oh, yeah, OK. Is there anything you would like to add before we say goodbye? So. <laughs> uh.
Uh, we are waiting uh, for you in our universities. I think uh, it will be great opportunity for all the applicants uh, to uh, enter Rudin University and uh, to know the students uh, from uh, 158 countries from all over the world. Thank you so much for your interest. Thank you very much for joining us and uh, one of the participants. Thank you again. Uh, thank, you for your thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye bye. Goodbye. And some reason is.